Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the discharge through a parallel pipe when it is connected in between two reservoirs which are at different levels. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A pipe of diameter 20 cm and length 2000 meter connects two reservoirs having difference of water levels at 20 meter. Determine the discharge through the pipe. If an additional pipe of diameter 20 cm and length 1200 meter is attached to the last 1200 meter length of the existing pipe, find the increase in discharge. Take F is equal to 0 0.015 and neglect minor losses. So this was the given question. In this question, we have to find out what is the increase in discharge when parallel pipe is connected. So we have to first find out what is the discharge through a single pipe when it is connected in between two reservoirs which are at different levels. So we will consider here with a single pipe having length 2000 meter, diameter 20 centimeter and the difference in between the heads of two reservoirs which is equal to 20 meter. So it is mentioned that we have to ignore or we have to we should not consider the minor losses. That means this is the head loss in between this reservoir A and B is because of major losses and major losses are due to friction. So we have to consider only head loss due to friction. So what is the head loss due to friction? So what is this at the entrance of the pipe and at the exit of the pipe? These are the heads. So this head loss is due to friction. So we have to consider here HF is equal to 20 meter and now we have to use the formula so what is the formula 4 f lv square by 2 gd so here 4 f f that is the coefficient of friction that is also given in the question then l that is the length we know that 2000 meter d that is 20 centimeter now what is the velocity v so velocity v is not given in the question and we have to find out the discharge q so we have to write what is the formula for this V in terms of Q. So we know that Q is equal to area into velocity. So V we have to take Q by A. But in the formula there is V square. That means we have to take Q by A bracket square. So now if we observe here, now what is the area? So we can calculate area from the diameter D. That is pi by 4 D square. So here I will write 4 FL divided by 2 GD. And instead of V, I will write Q divided by pi by 4 D square. So if I simplify this, now here Q square divided by pi square divided by 4 square into d square is having square that it means d raised to 4 multiplied by this d that is d raised to 5. So if we simplify this we will get 32 flq square divided by pi square g d raised to 5. And what is the left hand side that is capital H. So capital H is that is the head loss due to friction is 20 meter. So we have to take here 20 is equal to. Now if we observe this F is known capital L 2000 then G 9.81 D diameter 0 0.2 meter. Here we have to take value of D in standard unit that is meter. So only one unknown term that is Q. So here we have to take Q is equal to 0 0.0254 meter cube per second. And this is the answer for a discharge through a single pipe. Now again there is the second condition that is when parallel pipe is connected. So when parallel pipe is connected again we have to find out the discharge. So let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now here this is the entrance of the pipe and at the length of 1200 meter parallel pipe is getting connected. So here we have to consider here point T for this 1200 meter length. And from this point T we have to show the parallel pipe. So for this parallel pipe also what is the length? 1200. 
200 meter now diameter for this pipe is also given that is same 20 centimeter so here we will mention some points that is at the entrance of the pipe that is point c so when the parallel pipe is connected that point will be d and here that the exit of the first pipe or the original pipe is the point e and the exit of this parallel pipe is the point f so these are some points now we have to find out the discharge the or increase in discharge when parallel pipe is connected so for that we will mention what is the discharge so we will consider when parallel pipe is connected here at the entrance of the pipe discharge is q1 now what is happening here this discharge is getting divided into two parts why because this original pipe is getting branched into two pipes so here we have to say that this discharge through the remaining portion that is 1200 meter that is from point D to E is discharge Q2 and from D to F is discharge Q3. But this original pipe is getting branched into two pipes. We can say that Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. Now what is Q? Q is area multiplied by velocity. Now if we observe here this Q2 that is this area Q is that is uh, discharge Q depends upon area and velocity. Now if we observe what is the area that depends upon this uh, diameter D. Now for this section D to E and for this section D to F what is the diameter that is same 20 centimeter 20 centimeter. Then what about the length so length is also same that is 1000 200 meter that is same for both so we can say that here that is the discharge q2 is equal to discharge q3 so we have to first analyze that uh, this uh, diameter and length and then we have to decide here from the diagram we can say that q2 is equal to q3 the, but q1 is equal to q2 plus q3 and therefore we can also that q1 is equal to 2q2 so this is the relation in between Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now we will find out what is the discharge when this pipe is getting connected with parallel pipes. So for that we will apply the Bernoulli's equation at point A and B. So point A is at the entrance of the pipe and point B is at the exit of the pipe where the reservoir is getting connected. So here this, this is the head of water at the entrance of the pipe and this is the head of water at the exit of the pipe. So here is the point A and here is the point B. Now we will apply Bernoulli's equation for the pipe for C, D, E. So remember we have taken only one pipe C, D, E. So this pipe we have taken. So what is the Bernoulli's equation? Pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head is equal to pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head plus losses that we have to consider. Now here we will consider the datum line will passing through this point B that or the level of this water in the reservoir B. So I will mark here and this will we will consider this is the datum line. Now how we can write? So if we observe at point A, what is the pressure head? It is open to atmosphere, so it is zero. What is the kinetic head? So water in the tank is stationary or the velocity is negligible. So again kinetic head is zero. But what is the datum head? So from this datum line, its datum head is for 20 meter height. So we have to write 20 on the left hand side. So on the right hand side, again pressure head. So point B is open to atmosphere, it is zero, kinetic head water in this tank is stationary, so kinetic head is zero and plus datum head, so datum line is passing through this point B, so it is also zero. So what about the losses? So here we have to consider the losses. So what are the losses here? So this pipe C, D, E that we have to take, but if we observe here, 
the discharge that is here for this section C D discharge is Q1 for this section D E discharge is different. So here we have to consider the losses that is for the initial section C D. So we will take here 4 F L1 V1 square by 2 G D1. Now here length L1 we have to find out. So here total length 2000 minus 1200 meter that is 800 meter. This length is for section CD. Then V1. So what is the velocity V1? So again it is unknown. So we will keep it as it is. Then 2 GD1. So what is the diameter? 20 centimeter. So we have to convert it into meter that is 0 0.2 meter. Then next. So for this section DE, so for this section DE again we have to take the losses. So here we have to consider only major losses that is the we have to consider the losses due to friction. So again 4F L2. So L2 is 1200 meter. Then V2 we have to take here as it is then 2G D2 that is D2 is again 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meter. Now here V1 and V2 are unknown and we have to find out the discharge Q. So we can write here V1 and V2 in terms of Q1 and Q2. So how to write. So here V1 is equal to Q1 by A1 square. So what is the area of this pipe? So pi by 4 is 0 0.2 square. So if we simplify this 4 Q1 divided by pi into 0 0.04. In the same way we have to write V2. So V2 is equal to Q2 divided by pi by 4 0.2 square which is equal to 4 Q2 in divided by pi 0.04. Now if we observe in this equation there are two terms unknown that is V1 and V2. So suppose I place here V1 in terms of Q1 and V2 in terms of Q2 then again there are two terms that are unknown. So we cannot solve two unknown terms. So we have to solve only one unknown term. So we will take here value of Q2 in terms of Q1. So here is the relation Q1 is equal to 2Q2. That means Q2 is equal to Q1 by 2. So we have to take here Q2 is equal to Q1 by 2. So here V2 in terms of Q1 that is 2Q1 divided by pi into 0 0.04. Now it is easy for us to find out this Q1 because in this equation only one unknown term that is Q1. So instead of V1 put here this value bracket square. And here instead of V2 put here this value 2Q1 by pi into 0 0.04 bracket square and solve this. So when we solve this here only one unknown term that is Q1 square and Q1 square. So here 20 is equal to because here datum head that is 20 is equal to 12,394 Q1 square plus 4,647 Q1 square. So we can take here Q1 square as a common and then we will take here square root and then Q1 is equal to 0 0.0342 meter cube per second. So this is the discharge when parallel pipe is connected. So how to find out increase in discharge? So increase in discharge is equal to Q1 minus Q. That is this is the value of Q1 and this is the value of Q. So we can find out the answer.